I see him down there right now, completely eclipsing it. Oh, oh, oh down goes Kerner. Tyrone Harrison right up the middle. Tyrone Harrison blitzing. Oh, he's got, got a mask on his helmet. Is it Darth Vader? No, it's Tyrone Harrison, 44 for the Cougars. Oh, he's going to shoot right between the gap between center and left guard. Oh, oh and Bear, but did you see how quickly Kerner tucked the ball into his... 22 to go. Well, they got two tight ends. And right away, the tailback is smacked as Miller handed it off. Tyrone Harrison once again, Ouch. Paul. Beechcroft defensively is get, trying to get the ball back one more time or two more times or trying to force a punt in a hurry because they... Tim Miller on the call. And Miller, no, Miller kept the football and it's going to be bubble. picked up. And that's going to be a touchdown for Beechcroft. Looks like 27 Mike Simon ended up with the football. Mike Simon picked it up and ran it into the end zone. So Beechcroft. It's blocked. A little bit too low. It's blocked out there. And the ball is going to be picked oh. up. And it was Tyrone Harrison with the football trying to advance it, but he was stopped. And I'll tell you what, Harrison was just spared at that time by number nine, the hall. Do you have your whip with you, Carol? She left it at home. 48 yard line is where the ball is after the step off for the uh -oh, holding Kerner. penalty. And Marlon Kerner is going to go down for another couple of yards lost back at midfield. Paul, keep your eye on 44, Tyrone Harrison, the linebacker in the middle for Beechcroft. It seems like he's starting to take control a little bit defensively and trying to start to move his, uh, the people around a little bit there on the line. Maybe the and ball all experienced in the secondary. A lot of one let's call it second down and 11 again sour in motion and off off the left side and again nothing is there for the stallions well I'll tell you Randy this aggressive defense that the Cougars have is a trademark of their teams and it, there's no exception to start this series it'll be Volpe and sour wide to the bottom of the formation Volpe the widest 9 10 left to go we're scoreless Sauer in motion. And up goes to the first man through, and he is nailed right at the line of scrimmage. I'm talking about great interior defense for the Cougars, as we'll touch on the starters for Beechcroft as Magistrelli stood up right. Stallions down by 12. They need to hurry. Hammerling looking, looking across the oh. middle. The pass is picked off. Intercepted on the play by number 44, Tyrone Hairston, the middle linebacker, coming into your living room. Make way. Great job, and you know, with a tight end like Fickle, you have to look for him on time to time, and they did in that particular case, and Harrison was licking his chops ready. You'll see on the replay, Fickle drags across to the bottom of the screen here. Oh, but right in front is number 44. 44 and sharp six for 23. First and 10 officially from the 48-yard line. Backs are split. Brian Emerling, the junior quarterback, hands off to the first man through, and he has stood up right at the line of scrimmage. This Magistrelli, there is Mr. Moon again. Yes, nice job of defense. Uh, Mr. Moon got a lot of the credit on that one, but I'd also have to give an assist to Tyrone Harrison, who yep. was down underneath. Let's go, Johnson! Tyrone Harrison, number 44, the middle linebacker. You'll see on the replay, there's really nowhere to go. To go. I guesstimate that the ball is at about a 38-yard line. The yard markers are down, some of them on the far side of the field. Sauer in motion. That is Magistrelli off the left side. There is nothing there for Nick. Boy, you can hear the pop in the helmets. Yep. I think the first man on that one was Tyrone Harrison. Number 44. You'll see they tried to mix him up with a counter dive. And here he comes and pop. Good hit, Tyrone. So many great linebackers. Each craft over the year. Pickles caught a pass tonight, has he ran? Nope. It was Ness on the carry for a very short game. That's going to set up a punting situation for the sales. He's shaking up too, Randy. Yep. The running backs are getting uh, severe pounding here. It's, it was a draw play and almost caught uh, Beechcroft off guard, but they penetrate so quickly that they uh, diagnosed that play excellently. Craig is down and being at four yards, talking about his fine family. His father, Louis, of course, was the postmaster up in Westerville. Third down, let's call it a long three. Right up the gut. That is Magistrelli, and it's not going to happen. It'll be fourth down. Not even close, Randy. Beachcroft rose to the occasion. They're going to force another punting situation, but if you remember the last time,